Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of God of Weapons. Okay, I actually have an idea. I'm thinking Weapon Master, minus 50% attack speed, plus 15% item price. That is not ideal. I think there's a weapon... I had an idea for this character. I'm thinking Spear, and then... Was this have... Oh, have two? Yeah, this is it. Have two different set bonus bonus is maxed as weapon master okay wait what does he get plus 25 percent attack speed for every unique weapon in inventory i'm curious how we're gonna figure this out if i do polearm swift blade stable blade stable okay that means we, or we could do blade swift and then we could do trying to figure out what would be okay so we have swift Swift is kind of like a, a common theme. And then we have polearm. Thinking difficulty four. Actually. You know what? I'm feeling a difficulty five all of a sudden. I'm feeling like a difficulty five run. And I'm feeling like maybe doing a scholar. And seeing what we can get for him. Plus one inventory slots every three levels. Experience gain modifications are 40% more effective. And plus 2% attack speed for every free slot. I just kind of want to try it. I feel like this is going to be fun. Short sword, long sword, crimson rapier. I love the crimson rapier. Plus one damage for each two lifesteal. Jason gain 1% for every 100 kills. Um, What's this do? Have an inventory of 80. Okay. All right, let's do it. And let's go for five. All right, let's give it a shot. Actually, I want to go back over here and see if we can max anything else out. Uh, probably HP gain. I feel like we're probably going to need that. And let's do... Nope, pretty much have everything else. Actually, I was going to do dash cooldown, but that's already there. Um, let's do... Ugh, do I want to do sell price or do I want to just do... We could do magic power because I feel like we might end up with a magic weapon in this run i don't know i'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go but in case we do okay so now we know if we get something like oh my okay never mind that's just two and we already have lifesteal anyway so we're fine go ahead and, oh we're already getting let's go five levels easy this floor and we get six and we get six easy six easy and we're going to get attack speed for having open inventory slots here in a minute. Almost got seven, actually. That would have been really good. All right, let's go ahead and get a bunch of inventory slots. I think this run is going to be more of a hassle on money. So, so what do we want here? Let's take this. Let's do something like this. I'm not sure. Um, I almost was thinking prison blade, but I don't think so. Sharpen life stealing. What do we have? Blade life stealing. Still don't really care a whole lot about the financial stuff, actually. I feel like we're still pretty good here. Oh, perfect. We can do two of these. We need three, though, to level. Okay, let's go ahead and buy another one. Let's go ahead and get experience gain. We're already at 116%. Oh, 40% more expensive. Okay, okay. Not what I thought. I don't know why, but I was thinking it was 40% on top of, like, what I already had. For one more time. And, okay, we're getting eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. All right, we're going to roll with that, actually. I'm thinking that that is where we're going with this. So we need to level up 80, or we need to have 80 inventory, I think, is what it comes down to by the end of this, which should be fine. Actually, I don't see that we're going to have any issue with that. I am very curious how difficult difficulty five is going to be. This time, this is our first difficulty five run. Please keep in mind, I have not successfully completed one in the past. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, let's go five levels. Okay. How many times do we need to level to get this? By the way, I didn't really, didn't really think of that. I can take some spots here, even, but here and here. Go ahead here and upgrade these three. What does that give us? 22%, 42%. All right, well, unfortunately, we're going to be dropping this down a lot all the time. Probably going to take range 
probably gonna buy really we can't buy another blade what if i do that no okay never mind hold on how long is this five okay all right we're gonna move we're gonna move this down we're gonna move this up these these do not get adjacency bonus so it doesn't matter this here move this there what one two three four uh, is that that's five okay we could just put this on end and oh i can't buy because i don't have money oh my goodness i was very confused why it was not letting me do anything there okay let's just go next floor then this is gonna be a financial issue this run so i mean we already knew that though because the thing set up to be a financial like issue in these in this run it, it says that i think our it's not that our resource gains bad it just says i think item price is up was it 50 percent or 15 i believe or something like that so even the mosquito level we're gonna get three levels so that's pretty strong uh we're taking a little bit of damage i wish i could get maybe a shield or something actually i think i did see a shield somewhere and every three levels we get an extra space so we're gonna get a ton of extra space from that and buy one of those and buy another one of these and combine uh no we actually can't combine again okay oh yes let's take the shield the shield is going to save us from at least one hit every floor or like what every eight seconds or something like that which i think is going to be huge because i'm not planning on getting hit super often and i think that that will save us our attack speed should go pretty far up because i'm just so poverty in this run so i actually can't fill my inventory even if i wanted to try and if we get a couple good enemy amount uh, items like the oh what's a lantern the lantern that's the, the white lantern that gives us 20 range uh, we could also get the plunderer's banner and we could get what else can we get and buy this yeah and then we'll just go ahead and combine these three 90 gold do we want this 150 percent gain do that and let's roll twice at least let's take the lock item roll again we'll lock the rapier but i don't want it right now and let's roll one more time two more times yes there we go that's what we need we just need resource gain our resource gain is so bad plus 50 percent item price yeah that's not good our attack speed's 31 percent though i'm not gonna have to do the math every time thinking if we can get like a row down here i might be able to turn this how far yeah i'm off by one so if i can get something down there next run then that will change that at least i also think the shield stopped us from taking pretty much any damage there is an achievement i'm actually wondering if i can do it with the shield it's called actually i don't know what it's called but anyway i believe the challenge is not taking damage for five floors as the inquisitor i want to say class but i'm not certain on that and i'm thinking if i can do shields and those count then that might that might be kind of the way to do it Let's see hmm, okay all right another 10 so that's actually 20 percent movements uh or boost here okay uh yep yeah, perfect let's go ahead and just put them down here now there we go and we can get a little extra damage on this again still like no way to tell how much damage that is let's go ahead and roll twice let's buy another crimson rapier let's go ahead and buy some resource gain and let's roll oh my goodness yes we buy this every time it comes up don't care about that and let's go ahead next floor because i think we're gonna have to save up a little bit of money i don't know if we're gonna be able to just buy everything we want obviously it's uh it's gonna be difficult to oh okay okay well we're out of shield already i think there is a noticeable increase amount in the amount of enemies on difficulty five i would say that that is one thing that i am noticing 
queen difficulty four but i'm actually totally fine with the amount of enemy increase because then we don't really need to get as much well i guess the enemy amount is going to be substantially more now because of that um like if i get you 10 percent and you're spawning this many enemies versus last time you're spawning this many then i'm thinking another shield Ooh, another shield Obviously, we're going to... Oh, but that gives us 6% resource gain, and I just got our resource gain back up. Right, we're still going to buy it. I'm thinking we're going to sell these two shields. Block four damage. But this gives us 10%, so we're going to sell these. We're going to move this down a little bit, and then we're going to put this in. We have recovery and crate collar. Crate collar could give us money. So that might not be a bad play. I, I'm I'm thinking outside the box for how to how to fix our financial situation here. I'm thinking crate collar, money. Nope, food. Fine too. That's fine too. Don't really need. Don't really need food though. Our in, or rather our uh, damage and like just one shield is doing well enough i don't know if there's any way to make it so the shield resets any faster i don't think that there is i don't believe there is all right there we go and a little more invulnerability actually probably going to carry us to the end of the wave so four levels okay that should be 11 spaces it just feels so crazy whenever you're playing this and it's like just throwing spaces at you but you have no money now to actually do anything with it Oh, really? Wow. On floor seven, we already got that. That's crazy. That was so easy. Let's go ahead and take another shield by looking glass. And then let's start taking luck items because we still need to figure out. We'll take that again. Still need to figure out resource gain now. All right. We're finally in the positive for resource gain, by the way. Our XP gain is 230%. But I mean, you also have to remember that 100% of that that means that still means that I've built a hundred thirty percent resource gain. That's that's still pretty wild. Also, I think we're easily gonna get capacity of five thousand enemies on our uh, soul drinker item or whatever. So that should give us. I was curious about what kind of base damage that meant. I was. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'll take a look at it once we get back into our inventory, and then we can try to figure it out. Or. I'll look at it and then like off camera i'll figure that out and maybe in the next episode i'll bring back the map on that we're getting plus 10 percent damage per shield that gets broken which is 20 percent if both are broken okay it's actually s still completely worth it to have all these inventory spots though because they still give us a ton of um a ton of options in terms of what to buy that's absolutely one thing all right we'll take this again no adjacency bonus so it doesn't really matter i guess we can combine these three i didn't think about that and then we can do this which we can combine these three as well so it gives adjacent weapons gain one percent damage for every 100 kills minus so that would be 10 percent every thousand does that make sense so i guess it would be 50 percent damage uh i think that would be it 50 percent we can take luck and crit. Luck is 15. I think if we can get our luck there, then we might roll the high resource gain item, which is what I'm really looking for. If we can get that, I think we're totally fine on resource gain. All right. I'm going to take axe speed over anything here, over any items. And remember, we just get like passive pack speed for not having anything in our inventory. So that's, that was my, my secret plan there. I could buy another shield and then just not take any damage. Because that would be three free hits, like, every eight seconds or something. Which would be pretty good, I think. I want to work on... I don't know. Damage? I feel like damage is kind of lacking. Might start taking some more weapons or something. Probably the Lifesteal Rapier rather than, like, the Scythe rather than the oh, okay there's some money perfect a little bit of food sustain okay
Okay, we have another rape here, too. Let's see, what are these? 165 for that. I don't like it. But we have to figure out some way to get more damage. Right now, I think that's it. Um I don't is it I mean I already bought it, so it's going in the inventory now, but I actually don't think that it's worth buying these in this run. Uh just to get that. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's move this over and then let's buy another rapier. Yeah, again, uh, not not worth it, but we're going to buy that and we'll do that one next. We'll do that next. I'm trying to think if there's a way. There 100% is a way. Actually, here we go. We can do this and then we can do this so that these both get damaged. So this is 49 without this 31 49. Okay. This is 57, 54, or, yeah, 60 and 60. Okay, not bad. All right, let's go ahead and next floor. Not going to sell anything. I don't think it's worth selling right now. We also have two elites to contend with this round, which I'm concerned. Yeah, okay. So he actually just hit me for... So maybe they actually can pierce my shield. I didn't think they would be able to. Oh, and I have another elite that just randomly spawned on wave 10. Which, that's not new, though. I think that happens a lot. It's like wave 10 or 11, usually. I think. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. He, like, leapt on me there and got me. Okay, let's try to dodge out of the way of that. Oh, I would love to get the kill on at least one of them. Although, I think we're still going to make it without really getting the kill on any of them. I'd just like to. Okay. Nope. Food. Invulnerability, please. There we go. Let's go in on them and then let's dash out of here so they don't kill me. Oof. Okay. We got kind of lucky on that floor, so I think we're probably going to buy another weapon or something. Going to have to find something else here. I'm not sure what it is. All right, let's buy that. I, I'm not taking another one of these until we get something else. Plus one armor per adjacent weapon. We're not really going for that kind of build, so I feel like it's not going to help us here. 72 gold, more attack speed. I don't know, maybe a longsword adjacent armor plus three armor. Uh, does that does that count for shields? It does count for shields. So we got six armor just off of the longsword here, and we got a longsword, which does 43 damage. Uh, we'll probably take this, but our move speed's negative 10 now. Would this put us at 13 dodge attack speed 12 percent though our attack speed is 94 we'll take it um i don't know i'm kind of kind of thinking maybe we take the sniper's crossbow plus three pierce for each adjacent range item damage loss on pierce reduced to 28 percent uh we'll pass but we'll keep keep it in mind we'll keep it in mind and then we're gonna go ahead and do this plus six vitality for adjacent swords let's do that do that. What's this do? I am interested. I am interested in taking it. We have eight blades, which gives us seven melee power, and we have two stables. And we also have 5% lifesteal. I think these weapons also have high lifesteal. Yeah, they have a 20% chance of lifesteal. Just kind of without any additional help. Oh, I hate the dogs. I think we all know how much I hate the dogs. It is bad that they are in this round. All right, we're going to be pretty careful and try not to die here. Yeah, they definitely pierce shield, by the way. I don't know why I thought that that was... I thought it would be kind of like... I don't know. Uh, the payday armor system is like the thing that comes to mind immediately. In payday, if you get hit, then they break your armor and then... You have to be hit again after your armor's broken for the for the damage to, to uh, continue on. It, it's almost like pierce, I guess. It, it kind of I'm kind of describing it like piercing. It'd be like they can't pierce my armor and deal damage to me, but it definitely appears that they can. Again, another looking glass. I don't know how much I want that. Okay, probably gonna buy this. Um, and then we'll put it down here. 
because it can't be placed near anything. Take the dagger. I love those. They have great attack speed too. Uh, like, yeah, attack speed is 0.32% or 32 seconds. 10% critical chance. Does this count as a dagger? It does. And this isn't a lifesteal item. So it should count. And then, but this reduces our resource gain again. Oh, that reduces our resource gain even more. Maybe we need to start buying these, actually. I don't know. Do I want to buy those? We want one of these. Doesn't count. I'm assuming that means that it does not count against us. Go ahead and take that and then try to keep our attack speed. Yeah, our attack speed's still 92%. Hopefully we can... I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we can get that more if I get, like, more XP. I feel like I'm building attack speed through XP and empty inventory slots now versus... But then again, every round I'm going to buy more stuff. So I guess I'm not really getting empty inventory slots. Every round I'm, I'm buying more. I guess what I'm saying is what I'm buying should be less than what I'm gaining in inventory slots per round is my plan. Also, I think Crate Caller was a great pick on the financial end. I think it's doing really well for us. I think next is range. Attack speed's pretty solid right now. Very happy with it. Five levels again. Wow. Would love to get some higher tier items too. I would be definitely a big fan of getting higher tier items. Also, I have not taken any spots towards the top half. Just like re-roll and put them yeah, up here, I guess. That's fine. Fine. Very odd inventory spacing, but I am happy with it. Do that. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of moving stuff around for fun here. We can do this again, but I really don't like destroying our resource gain for that. If I buy this, it needs to go like up here. Is it... Oh, adjacent pole arms. I don't know why I bought that then. What's this do? 96 damage? What's this do? 97. Eh, not really a big deal. What's this? 4, 5... Or 5, 4, 0. 0.5. Okay. Yeah, never mind. I was right. We bought the right thing. Go ahead and buy this. And let's probably go ahead and buy that thing that I just had up into the shop. A scimitar? Uh, yes, please. Let's go ahead and buy this. And let's go ahead and move these. I'm thinking... Oops. What is this? Oh, it goes like that. How did we do this? Oh, wait, we can do it like that. Let's go 100%. Woo, yes, sir. I'm excited. I do love the ebony dagger. I do love this. I do love this. I'm thinking, can we combine these three? 165. Okay. Okay. We're going to roll next floor then. Resource gain is still bad right now. Still, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for resource gain right now. I think weapon-wise, we're doing all right. I think we have good damage and very solid attack speed. From what I remember. Although I didn't actually look what our attack speed was after that round. See if we can get some more inventory spots. 25% experience gain plus 40%. Hold on, I'm calculating. No, I'm just kidding. I actually have no idea. I don't know what that is. I just know it's good, right? Got to be, got to be like at least over 30, right? You know what they should have done was just made it easy math and said 50% gain instead of 40. But maybe that was like a balancing decision. I'm not sure. What would 40% of 25 be? Like 13 and then it would be slightly less. So like 10, I guess. So it would be like 35%, I think would be uh, something close to where I am with. If you were wondering what numbers I'm talking about, it's it's this. 25% melee gain or experience gain on that. So that would be that. And then let's combine these three. Put that. Then put this up here. Put this here. Uh not sure how I'm gonna do it, but let's do let's do this. Yeah, let's put this down here. I am fumbling that very hard. There we go. And then we can do this. 
I feel like it doesn't matter because the idea of this build is to have inventory spaces open. All right, so our magic is zero. Or, uh, our attack or our damage, our damage is zero percent. That's what I'm thinking of. Jeez. Okay. Can we find resource gain, please? Resource gain. Or is there no resource gain? The game kind of does just like randomly ban items, but I feel like there's no way that they just banned the abacus without kind of, I mean, there's no warning on it. I should say that too. There, there never has been, and there might not be, I guess. Maybe I'm hoping maybe in a future update, but no, actually, no, 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 there is, there is a warning. I don't know why I said that. There is. The warning is when you pick the class, it says that it can only use these weapons, which it doesn't tell you, but it won't roll any of the items that it can't use in the shop. Like, if it's only polearm items, what the hell was that? What just hit me? I thought it was uh, an invisible person or something. But anyway, if it can only roll, uh, if you can only use polearm items or something as, as whatever class you're playing as, then the game will only give you polearm items. Um, so, I don't know. I'm actually still feeling really confident for a win on today's run, even though we're on floor 14 and this is difficulty five and I've never played it before. I'm feeling quite solid on this. Okay, let's go ahead and get some inventory spaces. 16% uh, move speed, but this gives us 15 attack speed and 15 dodge. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's a grab. That's probably a grab. Let's please give me Abacus. Kind of love Bloody Tooth. Might want the Halberd just because, oh, but it's 346 gold for one weapon. Okay, more luck. Love that. Big spear. Love that. For adjacent weapons. Oh, we can do... Hold on. We can do this, and then we can do this. We can still do this. And then guess what? Plus 20 range. 20 range for adjacent weapons. That's crazy. 10% resource gain. I love that. But it also ooh, takes our vitality by a large amount. Okay, but we need resource gain, and we're not gonna die. Plus, it gives us a chance at revival if we do die. Should we die, it gives us a comeback. Okay, I didn't buy Bloody Tooth, by the way. And we got two elites on floor 15. I don't know how we got that. I did not buy anything to summon them. Okay, but we actually killed both of them without an issue. Is difficulty five actually not as hard as I think it is? Or am I getting better? Am I getting better at this game? I feel like we've been winning a lot of our difficulty four runs recently. And I don't feel like it's just been random. I feel like the difficulty four runs that we were winning before were just like, oh, I'm getting amazing items. Of course, we're going to win. And I'm not saying that it's me, but it might be that I'm getting a little better at this game. It's like skill is sneaking up on me. And I didn't even know. Yo, clear floor without taking damage 50 times. That's great. Cool. Wasn't going for it today, but we got it today. How is our... Hack speed's 133. I mean, this still gives us more than it takes. So, let's take it. Let's sell this and buy this. Our resource gain is not bad certainly love more though and this gives us it actually has no adjacency bonus so it doesn't matter and let's go ahead and combine this for 261 which gives us what was this 125 damage but 655 for the yeah that's pretty good it's pretty good what does this do 25 vitality 20 armor I feel like that would really ruin the very little amount of healing that we do have from lifesteal. And I'm not sure I'm willing to do that for 25 vitality. The armor would be good. I think it would reduce... I think it actually improves the shields too. If you take armor, I believe it improves... I believe the amount of damage that the shields can take before they break is... Uh, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it, but... I believe uh, that amount of damage scales with a stat, and I believe that's the armor stat. 
probably want to increase the amount of item or enemies rather we probably want to increase enemy spawns I feel like they're still not low but they could definitely go higher i think we can definitely handle higher just a lot of slimes i mean we're on like floor 16 come on hit me with something bigger than slimes homie i don't like these dudes that throw waves at me and i don't think there's any new enemies that are like uh only difficulty five enemies is what i was trying to think of okay let's do this wow that's crazy do we want this six percent resource gain yeah we can we can lose it um i would buy that if i had yes this is it this i want that i would have bought that if we had Ooh. Ooh, yes. Resource gain, experience gain, minus damage. Yes. Plus five damage, minus five range, minus five experience. Yes. Do we want to just, like, try the cross gun? I don't know. I mean, it might just be kind of fun. Let's just, like, throw it in the inventory and see what it does kind of thing. But, um... I don't know. I, I completely lost track of where I was. Because now I got candle holder. Now our resource gains finally like I think 30% or something ridiculous. Oh, I would have taken the inventory spaces for the uh, two item if we had bloody bloody tooth, which gives us 5% damage and two armor per elite kill, and then that would have actually given us a reason to fight elites because what at three spaces is 6% attack speed. Which I know every bit counts, but I just don't think that 6% for two elite fights is really what we need right now. I feel like we're doing really well with empty space. I feel like we have a, a good balance of, of empty inventory versus um, items and, and whatnot. If we could get War Drum again, I think War Drum would be really good. I think now that I've played this game for a few hours... So when we started this series, I only had seven hours. I think right now I'm up to... Somewhere in the 20 range is what I want to say. Let's go ahead and do that, and let's go ahead and buy this. Oh, boy, do we want this? Plus 1% damage for each 1% lifesteal. No, nah, it's really not that worth it. Let's go ahead and buy this. What did we get? Uh, attack speed, actually. We got 5% attack speed on that. Let's go ahead and take luck. Fucking crit chance. Cool. Um, I mean, we just buy... We buy red weapons, right? Like, that's, that's a given. Um, except that one. We aren't, we aren't gonna buy that one. We're gonna buy Recovery Lifesteal. I'll buy that. Let's, uh, do we want... Um, yeah, why not? And then we can buy this, too. And we can buy... Uh, we'll take Assassin's Bracer as well, again. Heather, let's just move this. Move this and then put this in here. And that gives us three. Uh, do we care about dodge? Dodge chance is 18%. That's actually probably substantial. Um, I think we do. I think we buy this. Our attack speed is still 170%. Like, our attack speed is not going anywhere. We're also going to sell this because we don't need it. Um, What's our resource gain? 35%. We're going to keep those. Our luck is 50, so I think we can start selling off the die shortly. Don't want to do it yet, but I don't think we need, like, 60 range. There is uh, an achievement related to getting 100 range. Oh, no, we already did that. Never mind. That was, like, last couple days episode or something. We, we already did that one. All right. There's a couple elites spawning. I see them. We're dashing away from them. Oh, we've already killed, I think, both, actually. We're wiping the entire map right now. We have plenty of range. I think we can stop most enemies before they even hit us. Is Scholar crazy? Maybe I actually just picked an amazing class. Actually, I was saying earlier about how I thought maybe I was getting better at this game. Maybe I am, but maybe this is also just an amazing class, and I just didn't know it, because I haven't played Scholar yet. Uh, obviously, or else I would have gotten the probably the 80 inventory spaces a little while ago. We got that on floor 7. That was not a challenge. But today's like a three achievement day, which... We're not going to have too many more of those because uh, a lot of the achievements that we have left are going to be very character specific. Like, um, I have to win, you know, X amount of runs or, you know, I, I can only do pretty much one achievement per day on a lot of these. Oh boy, do we want the unique polearm? Kind of. What is That's 780 gold. 
Wow, that is crazy. Crazy expensive. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's go ahead and buy this. I think this does have an adjacency bonus to something. Okay, can't put that there because of the scroll I just put. Okay, let's do this. And then can we do a way to put this like here or so? I have no idea. I mean, we definitely can. We definitely can. It's just how much of a pain it's going to be. I don't... What does this provide to... Uh, hover with Holy Banner. Jason weapons benefit from flat damage. Okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's what it is. It uh, gives... It gives damage bonus based on... We're going to buy another shield. No, we're not. We're going to buy this. Minus six resource gain. I'm fine with it. Our resource gain has just taken a hit. I mean, like... The amount of items that I have that subtract resource gain from a run where we need resource gain is... Uh, well, I'd say we subtracted a substantial amount off of our resource gain. Almost handicapping ourselves in some kind of way. I should have bought Bloody Tooth. I didn't think it, I didn't think it would be a good run for Bloody Tooth. Which is why I didn't take it. I'm also, you know what? Something else I wanted to bring up, actually, is I'm surprised this game doesn't have any... Um... Oh, boy. What was I thinking? Uh, any pickup range items. Uh, it doesn't have any pickup range items, which I'm almost a little disappointed to see. Because we have everything else. Pickup range actually isn't even a stat in this game. It's just an upgrade that you can get. But pickup range affects how well you can level in all these floors. So I imagine they would have a stat for it. Right, we're actually going to sell all our resource gain items. We're going to sell not our luck yet. Actually, we're not going to sell our luck. We will take... Re we're going to take crit chance. We're going to sell XP items. These ones at least. I don't think we're going to sell these because these give us melee power and stuff. So we'll keep them. Uh, we are going to keep luck for now because um, luck is going to help us in rolling good items. We, we don't need any of these items anymore because... Well, actually, we don't need candle holder anymore either. It's floor 20 next floor. So let's go ahead and do something crazy. Let's go ahead and do maybe damage. I'm fine with that. We're not going to buy bloody tooth. I just don't see any reason to. I'm actually very curious if we can get max inventory. We're missing one spot. One spot. Thunder's flag. Let's take let's take movement speed. Hell yeah, dude. Let's take liar as well. Minus five percent lifesteal. Let's take uh this thing. Buy this. Can we any chance we can put this up here? Yes, we can, which means we can get this and this gets oh wow, we haven't even killed 25 enemies with that weapon. Let's go ahead and take some dodge. Uh don't care. Would love to upgrade a weapon for 120. Sure. Go ahead with um, let's go ahead with something that's purple and wants to go red. Do that. Oh, should have taken that too, actually. Damage vitality? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and just win the run. No reason to delay this any longer. Let's just win it. All right, come on down, buddy. It's the same boss, actually. I'm kind of disappointed. They don't have any special uh, bosses for it. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Maybe it was a bad idea to take that rank. No, it wasn't. Actually, it was totally fine. And I, I don't even mean that because of the health that we got. We were actually completely fine right now. Hey, come on. Go and kill this guy. There it is. Difficulty 5 run. Fun in games. Alright, guys. That was our first Difficulty 5 run. I just want to thank you guys for being here. I, I expected it to be a lot harder, and this was actually one of our shorter episodes. I'm looking at the time clock right now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back and watch tomorrow's episode. Maybe we'll do another Difficulty 5 run. Have a good day.